Okay, go. Wait a minute. That might help. Try it again. <laughs> oh, okay, I had twisted the distributor a little too far. <laughs> I'll try again. Put some juice lean in there. <laughs> you got me jumpy now. a little advanced there, you think? Something I'll back it off a little. Blew my left foot. Yep. Well, we're still back firing through the carburetor. Yeah, so. it sounds like laboring. Now, try it again. Right. It's turning over better. Yeah. Got some more gasoline? I can get some now. Okay. That's or no spark now. Well, it wouldn't blow your foot off if it didn't well, have spark. <laughs> I bet you did feel that. <laughs> Coming out of these headers. Oh, boy. Uh, life is good, ain't it? <laughs> and a fine time was had by all. Well, we need to set that timing, but let's just see if it'll fire off. We'll get timing light on it. <clears throat> well, it has to be running then, don't it? Get it up on, yeah. But we we'll get it up on the, at least get it up on the mark here. It'll run. What do you mean it needs to be running? It'll run. Well, I mean to time it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Confidence, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's going to okay. fire up and run. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fired the hole right there. Yeah, well, you know, it's real weak fire. Yeah. And <clears throat> those plugs, points, and rotors wouldn't hurt a thing in the world. It's real weak. When yeah. I looked at that spark plug, it's just tiny little red fire. It needs to be a hot blue. Okay. A hot blue flame. But it will run. Yeah. We know it'll run. It's going to run. It's going to be good. <laughs> Bob and I were just talking about how you should always check your plugs because even though they're supposed to be preset, is what I heard anyway, they're sometimes not. And uh, here's a good example. I just took that right out of the box. It's completely shut. Completely, there's no gap whatsoever. So that's why we're gapping them. Checking them all before we put them in. Just can't trust nobody anymore. Not even Napa. Okay, fire in the hole. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we just had a little gas in the carburetor, ran the fuel out. That sounds good. That's going to sound good, man, those yeah. headers. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, Sounds deep. I think our work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I came over here for, boy, was to hear that thing fire up. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, well. So now I can put the gas tank in it. Yeah. Run the lines here. I just. Yep. Figure out where. Now you can get excited <laughs> and get your fuel block so you can run both of your mm -hmm. carbs and yeah. start tinkering with it, dialing it in, and, and uh, get that timing set. And, we're darn close on the timing. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, with that last little twist I gave it. Yeah. It was it leveled right out, smoothed right down. So that's just hand. Well, no, I'm a, I guess I tightened that up. You're right. Okay. Success. Success. Ta da. And you know, one thing you got to have when you're working on your 1926 Hudson is your beach umbrella. Yeah. I mean, you just got to have it. That's what put, that's what brings it all together. Especially if you live in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah, we got to have that beach umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it work. <laughs> <laughs>